Hello and welcome to Time Series Forecasting. In this video, I'm going to show you an example of a simple linear regression model and how to regress this model in R and how to get the results that we talked about, how to estimate uh, the parameter values of uh, beta 0 and beta 1, that is the value of the intercept and the value of uh, the slope parameter. So let's go ahead and uh, look at uh, this data set. The data is called US change and this data contains uh, five variables. We can apply this summary command to uh, look at these five variables. And all these five variables represent the uh, change in all of these variables. For example, this consumption variable, it shows uh, the change in the consumption of households in the US. Income shows the change in income uh, in the US. Similarly, all these variables, production, savings, and unemployment, they show changes in all of uh, these variables. So we may be interested in the relationship between consumption and income. So let's go ahead and extract uh, these two columns and then uh, autoplot these uh, two columns. So looking at uh, these two variables, income and consumption, it seems like both of these variables are moving together. That is, we can theorize that uh, as income changes, so does consumption. For example, if your income goes up, you will probably spend more money and hence your consumption will go up. And similarly, when your income goes down, you will probably spend less money and your consumption will go down. And this is exactly what we are seeing in this uh, graph. Both of these two variables are moving uh, together. So what we can do is we can use this data set US change and then we are going to convert this data set into a data frame and then I'm going to use this function ggplot and uh, for aesthetics I'm going to plot income on the x-axis and uh, consumption on the y-axis and similarly I can add uh, labels of these two variables and then I want each uh, data point on the graph uh, to be plotted as a point that is why I am using this geom point uh, command and finally I am adding a smooth line using uh, the linear model that we talked about and then I am not uh, including uh, standard errors on the graph. This graph is showing us the relationship between uh, consumption and income and uh, this is exactly the type of uh, graph that I showed you in one of my previous videos. So it seems like there is a positive relationship between these two variables. That is whenever the change in income is positive, the change in consumption is also positive. So there seems to be a relationship between uh, these uh, two variables. To know more about this relationship, what we can do is we can use this function called TSLM which is time series linear model and here our formula or the linear regression model is we are regressing consumption on income. In this case consumption is our dependent variable and income is our explanatory variable which means we believe that the income explains consumption. And then the next command is we are going to pass our data which in this case is US change because both of these two variables are contained in this uh, data set. So let's go ahead and regress this and look at the results. So our intercept parameter is 0.55 and our slope parameter is 0.28. So this slope coefficient shows that a one unit increase in income results on average in 0.28 unit change in uh, consumption and similarly when income is zero consumption is 0 0.55 so this is how you regress a linear regression model in R and uh, interpret these results next we're going to talk about the multiple linear regression model and we are going to spend a considerable amount of time talking about uh, how to interpret uh, these uh, coefficient values but essentially the idea here is uh, we can use this uh, function time series linear model and we pass our linear regression model with the dependent variable and independent variable in it and we can estimate uh, 
the intercept and uh, the slope parameters. So essentially under the hood the same algorithm is going on here as I showed you in one of my previous videos about uh, the principle of uh, least squares that is this method is uh, decreasing the average distance between all of these points and uh, the line that is being drawn uh, using uh, the OLS. Alright I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.